This is the original decor and this is the final decor, all set for 2023. In this video, I'll be talking about interior design trends of 2023 and I will share how you can accomplish them for yourself in a super simple way. Let's get to it. Hi everyone, this is Nelda. Welcome to our channel where you can get interior design and lifestyle ideas. To our subscribers, thank you for sticking with us all this time. And if you're not a subscriber yet, do take a second to hit that subscribe button below. Experts reveal interior designs in 2023 will be bolder, more colorful and weirder. And why not? Because we are living in strange times and interior designs will reflect the dynamism and sense of adventure we need to emerge from past challenges. But does this mean that grey minimalism is out? Yes. The answer is a resounding yes. Leave grey minimalism in 2022. So if you're an artist, 2023 will potentially be big for you because art is so vital in connecting colour palettes in interior design. So for interior design in 2023, do expect bold and unexpected accent colours, decorative tiles, accent walls and wallpaper, curves and arches, vintage furniture, gallery walls, dark wood finishes, and oversized marble countertops and walls. This could all sound overwhelming and many of us may still be pretty hooked on neutral and Nordic interiors. How and where would you begin to add colour and volume into a room decor such as this one without spending so much? First and foremost, this grey slash white monotone room looks pretty good with large furnishings already in place. If you don't intend to make drastic changes, then the first step is to leave this large furniture like couches, armchairs and bookshelves as they are. Choosing a colour scheme might feel scary at first. If you don't quite know how to start adding colours to your interior decor, the best way to experiment with colours is to first fill spaces with art, like so. Getting affordable art prints is the perfect way of getting to know and being comfortable with your favourite colours. I love blue and green, so they will be the primary colours. This gorgeous artwork by Liz Taylor has light blue and a bright spot of yellow to generate contrast and grab attention. On the other side, I've placed artwork in neutral colours because we don't want to push the envelope too much at this stage. Secondly, I'm going to the colour wheel and select some light reddish hues which are opposite to blue, green and yellow. This colour combination is called the Tetrad Colour Scheme. So I've chosen pink and magenta as secondary colours which will go on small decorative items in the room such as these cushion pillows. You can also add them to vases, sculptures, lampshades and floral bouquets. Remember, these reds are not primary colours, so they shouldn't go on large furnishings. At this point, you might feel more confident to add more colours, this time to the large furniture. I thought reupholstering these armchairs to a light mint green fabric looks really cheerful and place an ottoman on the right in a darker green shade. The curtains are changed to a warmer neutral shade. A large rug with outstanding lines groups the large furniture together and zones the living room from the bookshelves behind. On the left side, a curved wooden stool offers a refreshing breakaway from the straight lines around the room. Here is a rule of thumb in interior design. Dark colours always make things look larger and light colours make things look smaller. So for better balance, use darker shades on small items and lighter shades on large items. These small modifications create attractive layers and more dimension in the room. This is the original decor and this is the final decor, all set for 2023. I hope you found this helpful and inspired to follow these tips. You can also find links to the artwork and cushion pillows in the description below. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now!